Hello there. I'm Professor Indra Bhisekara. One of the learning goals in this workshop is for us to understand how to make a detailed account for temporary taxation differences arising from accounting records and taxation records. We learned how to record journal entries for income tax payable and income tax expense. We said in step one, we write a journal entry for income tax payable as debit income tax expense, credit income tax payable, and in step two, we then adjust the income tax expense to the amount that is shown in the income statement by either debiting or crediting the income tax expense and then correspondingly debiting deferred tax asset and if we need to credit then we credit deferred tax liability. But all it does is show us the summary picture. How much income tax expense and how much income tax payable and then the adjustment as deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability. But it doesn't tell us details what comprise the deferred taxes. It doesn't tell us how it originates. Let's take an example. Let's take a plant and that's costing $100 and the depreciation expense is 10 for accounting and for taxation plan costs $100 and the tax depreciation is 15 So the carrying value of the plan is 90, 100 minus 10 is 90 and the tax base which is the equivalent of the carrying value for taxation is 100 minus 15 and that's 85. Let's now look at the expense. Accounting expense is 10, tax deduction is 50. The difference between the two is 5. Now let's look at the carrying value and the tax base. The difference between the two is 5. So the depreciation was a result of the carry value for accounting and the depre tax depreciation was a result of the tax base. When the carry value changes and when the tax base changes, depreciation changes. When the carry value changes, accounting depreciation changes when the tax base changes, the tax deduction changes. So what we can say is the result that we have reported in the income statement originates from the asset on the balance sheet. So the point of origin is the balance sheet. So if you compare the accounting balance sheet against the tax balance sheet, if the tax office prepares a balance sheet, then by comparing the carrying value and the tax base, we can determine the temporary difference. That 5 is a temporary difference because ultimately this 100 plan cost, if there is no residual value, will become zero. And for tax source, it will become zero. Total depreciation then will be 100 one day, and total depreciation for tax 
will be 100 watt. But for this period, it is 10 and 15, and the difference is 5. It is because the carrying value has is now 90, and the tax base is 85, and the difference is 5. By looking at the individual asset, the carrying value, individual liabilities, the carrying values, and then comparing that with the corresponding asset tax base and the corresponding liability tax base, we can find the temporary difference. So here are some items and the carrying value and the tax base. The ones highlighted are the ones that tends to differ, the carrying value and the tax base differ because they are different, they give rise to temporary differences in tax. So there's depreciable asset, non-depreciable assets, accounts receivable, then any other asset and provisions and unearned revenue. The only items where the tax base and the carrying value is same is inventory, accounts payable and loans payable. Everything else they are they can be different. That means from year to year when those values change they can give rise to temporary difference. There are two types of temporary differences. One is called deductible temporary difference. The other one is called taxable temporary difference. Now this difference is you take the carrying value then minus the tax base. That difference. One is a deductible difference, other one is a taxable difference. If that difference can be deducted in the future for tax payable purposes, then it becomes an asset because we are going to save money, creates a deferred tax asset. On the other hand, if this difference is going to create tax payments in the future, then it is a liability. That difference becomes a liability and that difference is called taxable temporary difference and 30% of that gives us a deferred tax liability. Similarly, a deductible temporary difference is can be deducted and 30% of that is a deferred tax asset. There are various ways to work this out, whether it's a deductible difference or a taxable difference. Here's one way. You compare the asset and the asset carrying value and the asset tax base. For example, as a company, if we have more assets, are we richer? Yes. If we compare the liabilities, if we have less liabilities, less debts, are we richer? Yes. So if there are more assets and less liabilities, company is richer. And if the tax office does not know that you have more asset value and less liability value for a given item, that means you are richer. You, if you are richer, then you should pay tax in the future. 
you should pay more tax in the future. But the tax office still does not know. If you have to pay more tax in the future, the difference between the two becomes a taxable difference because you have to pay more tax in the future. 30% of that becomes a deferred tax liability. We credit deferred tax liability, debit income tax expense. If we have, if the company is having less assets, or if the company is having more liabilities or more debt, the company poorer? Yes. But if the tax office doesn't know, then you would pay more tax now, but you will save on it when the tax office comes to know. So this difference for assets and liabilities when you compare the carrying value and the tax base, that difference is called a deductible difference. It can be deducted in the future. And 30% of that becomes a deferred tax asset. The difference into 30% becomes deferred tax asset. Debit deferred tax asset, credit income tax expense. So for each asset, we can compare the carrying value and the tax balance. For each liability, we can compare the carrying value and the tax balance and ask this question and then find out whether it's a taxable difference or a deductible difference. If it is a taxable difference, 30% of that will be deferred tax liability. If it is a deductible difference, 30% of that will be a deferred tax asset. And debit deferred tax asset, credit income tax expense, credit income tax, credit deferred tax liability, and debit income tax expense.